Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe with Logan Party of 4Runner. If you're here watching this video today, then you're interested in overlanding trailers like me. So, give you a little bit of backstory on me and what I'm doing here. Um, decided that an off-road overland rooftop tent trailer, whatever you want to call it, was something I wanted to um, have and try out, but it was just disgusted and overwhelmed by the price um, of ready-built trailers. Basically you're starting at like base price of $8,000 for just about any manufacturer and the sky's the limit from there and that's pretty pretty incredible for how small and overall basic these trailers are. So I started thinking um, about building my own and I was thinking I would start by uh, buying a frame or starting with something and building off of it and then I decided I'm just going to start from scratch and build it exactly the way I want it from the ground up. The other thing is, I don't really know how to weld. Um, I was given, basically given a welder by a friend who is a phenomenal welder and he had an old buzz box arc welder that he didn't use and told me I could have it and play around with it and he gave me about a 15 minute tutorial and I've scoured YouTube watching videos and I've spent some time uh, playing around outside and I've gotten just comfortable enough with it that I'm ready to dive into this but I really don't know what I'm doing with it and I'm basically just learning as I go and I'm just going to take my time. Follow along and, uh, and we'll go down this journey together. What you see right here is all the metal that I've acquired so far. Um, I am wanting to do exactly, build this exactly the way I want, and it's not necessarily a budget build, but budget is a big thing, so I, you know, I'm trying to do exactly what I want for as little money as I can. So I have found this metal here a few different places, mostly like scrap prices or private party sales. I have about $380 in all the metal you see right here, and that's pretty good. Uh, especially for today's prices. And this is not every piece of metal I'm gonna need, but this is the bulk of everything I'm gonna need. Uh, square tubing to do both the, the frame and the box. And uh, so that's kind of what I got invested so far. I uh, picked up a chop saw for cutting metal. And that's what I'm gonna cut everything with. And uh, we'll just start sticking pieces together and see where we go. So stick around and follow along. Thanks. The trailer design I have come up with is a 4x6 frame with a 30 inch tall box enclosure. It will have a full swing out door on the back and a small access door on both sides. It will have a rack built on the top of it to house a rooftop tent 270 degree awning and our shower awning. The trailer frame incorporates a solid through tongue design on the same lateral plane as the rest of the frame. I like this design because it maximizes strength and ground clearance. The first task in the frame fabrication is to create a T out of the bumper and through tongue. I need to get this perfectly square since everything else is built off of this. Once I have this tack welded, I can mock up both sides and get the front pieces welded into the through tongue. All right guys, so here is the start of day two. Um, had to quit last night, but I'm working on welding the 
first side um, of all these I got all but this one right here done I just have it still tacked I got to get it welded and then I'm gonna flip it over um, and just keep welding until I've gotten all four sides of all these done and then work on the tongue extension from there um, but so far pleased with day one's progress I know the welding is not the best by far but praying it'll be good enough if I slap enough on there you know it's just a trailer so hopefully it'll hopefully it'll be good enough to serve its purpose so I'm gonna get back at it here and I'll check in with you in a little bit step is to take this big old four foot receiver tube that I purchased off of Amazon and I'll have a link in the description to this along with anything that I use that I buy online I'm going to provide links so if it's a part you need you know exactly um, where I got it and where you can go get it so feel free to check out those links but this is a four foot pizza receiver tube that should fit right on over here and we're going to try it for the first time together. Ta da! So that's gonna slide on like that. You see? And now we have created the tongue of our trailer. Now, the way I intend to attach this is obviously it will be welded here. But I'm also going to drill two holes, one here and one here near the end, and I'll have a half inch by three grade eight bolt to go through there. So it's actually going to be bolted, and then I'm going to drill holes just through this piece along the top and bottom and put, I don't know what you call them, little dim dimple welds or something in there that I can grind out. So it's going to be welded along the shaft with those, whatever you call them, welds. It's going to be welded here on the end, and it's going to be bolted with two grade 8 bolts. So I feel confident when I am done, these two are going to be 100% glued together not coming apart. So we're going to head up to the shop, put this thing on the uh, drill press, and get all the holes drilled in. So I've got this piece marked out. My tongue is right now sticking through 14 inches. So I have a mark at <coughs> 2 inches and 12 inches. Um, so 2 inches back. So I want the bolt to go through and I'm making sure that I'm getting these bolts going through the same way as the pin because I want um, these oriented horizontally and not vertically. So now we've got it all set up. We'll drill them. Well, I've successfully turned our receiver hitch trailer tongue into Swiss cheese. So these are the two uh, holes that the grade 8 bolts are going to go in, and then these three on the top and on the bottom are where I'm going to weld the two together. So between that and the welds that will be around the end, I think this is going to be extremely solid. So now we'll go mock it up and start drilling the tongue on the trailer. So I wanted to show you a couple things that I did prior to inserting this tongue. One is I uh, ground this down real nicely, made sure that this whole sleeve uh, was nice and smooth, didn't have any rust. I tried to clean up the welds on the sides here, make sure there weren't any goobers on those. And then on the end of this receiver, I put the grinder inside and kind of chamfered these edges a little bit where it's going to um, sit against those welds just so it'll uh, sit down on there a little bit nicer. 
before I weld the tongue piece on, I gotta make sure it's perfectly in line with the rest of the trailer. There's a little bit of play side to side. To accomplish this, I have marked the center line of the through tongue as well as the receiver hitch. And then using a string to make sure all these measurements line up perfectly before I secure it and tack weld it. All right, so here's where we're at now. It's a few days later than the last clip you saw. Some days I haven't been able to work at all. Other days I've just been out here working for 30 minutes or an hour. Um, well, I've just been working on this tongue, getting it fully installed. You see these three shiny areas here. That's where I had those weld throughs to the, to the uh, base metal. And I have those on both sides. I drilled the holes through for the grade eight half inch bolts, bolted them on and have welded the nuts and the bolts so they're not going anywhere. I've welded the end, yes I know it's not the prettiest, but it's welded all the way around there. So if there's one thing I'm confident of, it's that this piece isn't going anywhere. So now the next thing is on these corners right here, I'm gonna fill these corners here and there, and then I can cut the, uh, the 45 braces. So that's next on the agenda. So there we go. I got them both capped. As you can tell, it's not perfect, but I really don't need it to be. It's gonna get covered up, but I thought it'd be a good idea uh, for them to be capped before I place a 45 over it, like so. Um, well, that's not really right. Like that. Anyway, you get the point. It's gonna get covered up, but I thought it'd be good to cap them off um, that way there's a lot of metal there that I can weld to. So next thing I'm going to do is work on those 45s. Got us a triangle. Got it all welded on. This is actually looking at the bottom side of the trailer right now. But I got these tongue braces welded on. My welds are looking better. Still got a long way to go, but they're looking better. And pretty pretty excited with the progress so far. Next clip you see is actually going to be at least two weeks from now because I am leaving this evening to go on a work trip for a couple of weeks and uh, so there won't be any progress for a little bit which will be sad but the good news is when I come back I should have the money to complete this project which obviously is going to be uh, important so I'm going to 
go off for a while and I will be back in the snap of a finger and we'll keep going. All right, welcome back guys. In the blink of an eye for you anyway. 17 days has gone by since I last worked on this thing, but I'm back at it. Got a little bit of time to work on it today, so the next thing on the list is the fender flares, whatever you want to call them. Um, right in here somewhere, I'm going to have one foot piece coming out that will match up with the pieces in the back. I'm going to have an angled piece coming back to the front of the trailer, um, so that way if you're going off-road, and you're going to get hung up on a tree or a rock or something like that. I'm going to have a very sturdy uh, kick out that will push the whole trailer out of the way to get past that object and hopefully not tear anything up. So that's what I'm going to work on now. All right, well, we got that one done, and I've got this one. All right, guys, sorry about that. My uh, camera batteries died, and they got left out in the cold, and it took forever for them to recharge. I had to keep working. So uh, I'm going to catch you up to speed on what I did yesterday. So I think the last thing you saw, I had this uh, bump out here mocked up I've got it welded even have uh, the end capped off and then I also got these other uh, ends done that complete the fender like you'll kind of see over here where I got this spare tire kind of just sitting in there to illustrate what's going on so you can see the idea of the fender being able to push away to get clearance for the rest of the trailer so I got all these ends capped and also got these pieces welded on these floor supports four of those and that, that pretty much wraps up the frame um, that's pretty much everything for the base frame the next step or steps is going to be um, framing up the, the walls for the cab enclosure uh, the cargo enclosure and putting the uh, timberin axle suspension on getting some permanent wheels and tires and uh, getting it cleaned up and and painted and getting it you know obviously there's a lot to do but um, probably the very next thing that I do is start the uh, the enclosure and get that roughed in and I'll probably get those timber and axles ordered probably today and uh, put them on once they come in and go from there so pretty excited about the progress so far all right guys well that's pretty much going to wrap up this video um, I think I'm going to break the video off here now that I've got the frame uh, complete and I really appreciate you watching the video I hope you enjoyed it hopefully you got a couple ideas or learned a little something and um, and stay tuned for the next video. It'll be coming out soon. I'm going to try and put these videos together and get them live 
on YouTube um, as I get the content ready. So if you're watching this one and you don't see part two ready, I know that's frustrating, um, but just know I'm working on it. I'm still working on the trailer, working on the video, and I'm gonna try and get these videos um, live pretty soon after the work's actually done. So I'm gonna be working hard. I've had a few uh, interruptions to the build process here. So hopefully I can stay a little more diligent and uh, get these uh, next parts done pretty, uh, pretty quick. So please like and subscribe. Um, hit the notification button so you can be notified when the next video posts. And stay tuned and check them out. Thanks again for watching.